In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As Jesus and his disciples traveled to Jerusalem, where suffering and death await, their journey is interrupted by an experience of Jesus' transfiguration. Up on the mountain, the three disciples get a glimpse of the glory that their master will have after his resurrection. The experience is only for a moment, but it is a source of fresh courage and new strength that will sustain them on the difficult way of the cross. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. When Abram's feet is surely tested because, because of his lack of a son, and here the Lord gives him a sign, that he will fulfill his promise of giving the patriarch many descendants. I read from the book of Genesis. The Lord God took Abram outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars, if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be? Abram put his faith in the Lord who credited it as an act of righteousness. He then said to him, I am the Lord who brought you from the Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land as a possession. O Lord God, he asked, how am I to know that I shall possess it? He answered him, bring me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old she-goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Abram brought him all this, split them in two, and placed each half opposite the other. But the birds he did not cut up. Birds of prey swooped down on the carcasses, but Abram stayed with them. As the sun was about to set, a trance fell upon Abram, and a deep, terrifying darkness enveloped him. When the sun had set and it was dark, there appeared a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch, which passed between those pieces. It was on that occasion that the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, to your descendants, I give this land from the Wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. 
Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Because the cross of Christ is a scandal to the Jews and folly to the Gentiles, Christian converts may be tempted to abandon it. Paul reminds the Christian to stand firm in their belief because the cross is the only way to clarification. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and now tell you, even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven. And from it, we also wait a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with His glorified body by the power that enables Him also to bring all things into subjection to Himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown. In this way, stand firm in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up the mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed in appearance and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were conversing with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his exodus that he was going to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions had been overcome by sleep, but becoming fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As they were about to part from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. But he did not know what he was saying. While he was still speaking, a cloud came and cast a shadow over them, and they became frightened when they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my chosen son. Listen to him. After the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. They fell silent and did not at that time tell anyone what they had seen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Bago pa man, nagbagong anyo ang ating Panginoong Kristo, Transfiguration. 
Pinahayag niya ang kanyang kaluwalhatian sa harap ng kanyang mga piling-piling apostoles bago pa man nangyari yan, eh sinabihan na sila ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ayon sa salaysay sa Ibanghelyo ni San Marcos kung ano ang malagim na kamatayan na kanyang pagdurusahan. sa ipagkakanulo sa mga may kapangyarihan pagkatapos siya ay maghihirap sa kanilang mga kamay hanggang mamatay na nakapako sa krus upang tubusin ang kasalanan ng sangkatauhan. Parang hindi yata naunawaan ng mga apostoles itong pahayag na ito sapagkat katatapos pa lang niyang ipahayag na ganito ang mangyayari sa kanya, yung magkapatid na si Santiago at si Juan ay lumapit na sa kanya at nagsabi na kung itatatag mo ang iyong kaharian, pwede ba isa sa amin ilagay mo sa iyong kanan at yung isa sa iyong kaliwa. Sa makatwid, yung dalawa E eh, nag-inuunahan na yung ibang mga apostoles upang sa ganon e eh, maganap yung kanilang ambisyon. Kala nila, tatatag ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo ay isang kahariang pangpolitika na meron mga pwesto na dapat punuin. Para bang hindi nila narinig yung sinabi ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo na kaya sa nagpunta rito, E eh para magsilbi at yung pagsisilbing yun ay eh makakarating hanggang siya ay magdusa, sukdula na na mamatay siya sa krus. Parang hindi narinig sapagkat sila ay pinagaharian ng kanilang mga ambisyon. Nung marinig yun ng ibang mga apostoles, inawa yung dalawa sapagkat yung pala, yung ibang mga apostoles, meron din palang mga ambisyon. na pumwesto doon sa kaharian ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Kaya nga kung babasahin niyo yung bahaging yan ng Ibanghelyo ni San Marcos, makikita ninyo kung ano ang nangyayari sa mga apostoles na hindi nakakaintindi kung ano yung paghahari ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Kala nila ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo parang yung ordinaryong tradisyonal na politiko na magkakaroon ng isang kaharian At kung kayo'y malapit sa haring yon, eh mabibiyayaan kayo. Kaya parang nagsalita sa mga bingi ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Makatatlong ulit na niyang sinabi yun eh, kung ano mangyayari sa kanya. Pagsisilbihan niya ang mga tao, pakikita niya kung hanggang saan makakarating ang kanyang pag-ibig. Kahit sa kagipitan, hindi niya iiwanan, hindi niya aayawan. kahit na mamatay pa siya sa krus. Yun ang sinasabi niya. Kaya nga pinaliwanag niyang muli, sabi niya sa mga apostolis, hali kayo dito sa aking kaharian, ang pinakadakila, eh hindi yung naghahari-harian. Ang pinakadakila ay yung nagsisilbi. Yun, pinaliwanag niyang mabuti. Eh, Kung yun ay paliwanag na naintindihan ng mga apostoles, e palagay ko, hindi kapanipaniwala sapagkat kahit sino naman kapag ka meron sinusundan, merong kapalit na inaasam. At yung kapalit na inaasam na yun, e siyempre yung makaangat, makapagpapataas ng kanilang katayuan at kabuhayan. Eh, mga pangkaraniwang tao din ng mga apostoles. E eh, sino ang susunod sa isang taong ganyan ng paghahari? Maghahari ka nga, pagkatapos ko naman pala'y mamamatay, ipapaku sa krus, hindi nila narinig yung buong sinabi ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Ano ba yung buong sinabi ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo? Mamamatay ako upang ipahiwatig sa inyo o hanggang saan ang pag-ibig ko sa inyo. Parang ganon. Pangako na hindi ko iiwanan, cross my heart o cross my heart. Yun ang sinasabi natin pag nangangako, cross my heart. Cross my heart at pinako nga ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo sa krus. Bilang patunay, kahit anong kagipitan, hindi ko kayo iiwanan. 
hindi ko kayo aayawan. Pero hindi dyan magtatapos. Mabubuhay akong mag-uli para kayo'y dalhin doon sa aking tunay na kaharian sa piling ng Ama. Ayun, dadaling ko lahat kayo doon kung kayo'y susunod sa akin. May kasunod pe. Eh hindi nila pinakikinggan yun sapagkat sila'y sinapian ng kanilang mga sarili-sariling ambisyon at pangarap. Kapagka tayo'y puro pangarap lang natin ang ating iniintindi, hindi natin naririnig yung sinasabi ng ating kapwa. Hindi naririnig yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. Ako'y sumama sa inyo. Sinamahan ko kayo magmula sa pagsilang hanggang kamatayan pero hindi doon magtatapos. Mabubuhay akong magmuli at kayo'y isasama ko sa kaligayahang walang hanggan. Sapakat ganyan ang pag-ibig. Ang pag-ibig, kaisa ng buhay. Magkaisa yan, hindi pinaghihiwalay. Pagmahal mo, hindi mo ang mamatay. Kaya nga kapag ka mahal mo, ang lagi mong bati, mabuhay ka. Pag ikaw'y namumuhi, maski hindi mo sabihin, sa loob mo sinasabi mo, mamatay ka na sana. Pero kapag ka mahal mo, hindi mo ang mamatay. Ganon din ang Panginoon, hindi tayo pababayaang mamatay. Ang kanyang kamatayan, pansamantala lang, mabubuhay na mag-uli. At sa kalwalhatian, babalik sa Ama at tayo isasama. Kaya ang programa ng Panginoon, nakalatag na. Yan ang pangako niya. At yun ay ating binabalik-balikan kapag ka tayo nagmimisa. Hindi nyo ba napapansin? Pagkatapos ng konsagrasyon, yung ang tinapay at alak ay eh, naging katawan at dugo ni Kristo sa pamamagitan ng milagro ng ating Panginoon sa pagmimisa. Ano sinasabi ng pare? The mystery of faith. Ayan, o ha. Ang misteryo ng pananampalatayo, ha? sabay-sabay tayo, kinakanta natin o sinasabi, si Kristo'y namatay, si Kristo'y nabuhay, si Kristo'y babalik sa wakas ng panahon. Yan ang plataforma ni Kristo. Nakalatag na yan at nangyari sa Kanya. Hindi na kailangan pa ng ibang pruweba. Nakalatag na. Ito nakita niya. Pinatikim yung tatlong apostole, si Santiago, si San Pedro, at saka si San Juan. Nakita nila yung kaluwalhatian ni Kristo sa transfiguration, pagbabagong anyo. Nakita nila ang kaluwalhatian. Oh, na yung kabuuan ng batas na binigay ni Moses... Nandoon ang kaganapan kay Jesus. Kaya nandoon si Moses. Si Moses nakapagbibigay lang ng batas. Pero hindi nakapagbibigay ng lakas ng loob upang matapad ang batas. Parang yan yung mga batas natin. Ang dami-dami pero hindi naman napapatupad. Aanin mo yung batas na hindi napapatupad. Bakit? ay yung mga gumawa ng batas, hindi naman nagbibigay ng lakas para tuparin yung batas na yan. O, magaganda nga yung batas na binigay ni Moses, pero walang grasya. Walang lakas. Para mapatupad yung batas na yon si Jesus lang ang makapagbibigay na yun, sapagkat siya lang ang makapagsusugo ng Espiritu Santo na pinanggagalingan ng batas. Nandun din si Elijah, yung propeta, yung propeta, nagtuturo sa atin kung saan tayo pupunta. Kung saan tayo pa pupunta pag hindi natin tinupad ang kalooban ng Diyos. Pero hindi niya masabi kung saan tayo pupunta kapag ka tinupad natin ang kalooban ng Diyos. Bakit hindi niya masabi yun? Eh, hindi siya galing dun eh. Paano niya masasabi? Ang masasabi lang niya, eto ha, pag hindi niyo tinupad, Itong kalooban ng Diyos, ito mangyayari sa inyo, ha? O, yun. Kaya ma matatakot kayo sapagkat nangyayari yan. Nakikita sa kasaysayan ng Israel. Pag naging matigas ulo ang mga tao ng Israel, kung ano-anong mga kamalasan ang nangyayari sa bayan. Pero hindi nila nalalaman kung kayo tutupad sa kalooban ng Diyos. 
ano mangyayari sa inyo? Si Jesus lang ang makapagsasabi noon. Bakit? Galing siya dun eh. Yun ang kanyang tahanan eh. O kaya si Jesus, ang anak ng Diyos, sa lamang may kapangyarihan na bunutin tayo dito sa bayang kahapis-hapis upang tayo magkaroon ng kaligayahang walang hanggan. At yan ang pinangako niya. Cross my heart. Mamatay man ako. O, namatay nga. Pero nung mamatay siya, pansamantala lang, nabuhay na mag-uli at sinasabing, Hali kayo, sumunod kayo sa akin. O kayo ba sumusunod sa ating Panginoon? Kaya pag sinundan natin ang Panginoon, kung saan pumunta ang Panginoon, doon din tayo pupunta. Ganun lang kasimple buhay ng tao, no? Follow the leader. Kung sino ang pinuno, ang inyong susundin at sasamahan kung saan pulutin yung pinunong yon doon kayo pupulutin. O, oh, karanasan natin yan dito sa bayang to. O, oh, katakot-takot na yung mga sinusunod nating mga namumuno. O, oh, saan tayo pinupulot? Sapagat ganun lang naman ang prinsipyo. If you follow the leader, where he goes, you go. Kaya sabi ni San Pablo sa kanyang liham, unang liham sa Dakakurinto, <coughs> you follow me. Sabi niya sa mga taga-Kurinto, you follow me. Hindi siya nagtapos doon. You follow me because I am following Christ. Sundin niyo ako sapagkat sinusunod ko si Kristo. Sapagkat kung ako, hindi ko sinusunod si Kristo, siguro sabi ni San Pablo, lahat tayo mawawala. Kaya ako lang naman kayo pinasusunod sa akin, ang sinusunod lang ko si Kristo. Kung itong sinasabi ko sa inyo ngayon, pawala, at hindi ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos, huwag niyo akong susundin. Isa pa akong wala at nagwawala. Pero kung totoo, itong sinasabi ko sa inyo na ayon sa kalooban ni Jesus, eh ito hindi aking salita. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, itong sinasabi ko, nakikita ko sa banan na kasulatan, at yun, o ano yung sinabi ng Panginoon, sundin natin. Kaya kung sino man ang iniidolo nyo, tanungin nyo muna sarili ninyo, ito bang iniidolo ko'y sumusunod kay Kristo? Yun, tatanungin nyo. Kung hindi, para tayong bulag ah, na kumakapit sa kapwa, bulag. O kaya saan tayo pupulutin? Simple lang naman ang paliwana kung bakit tayo litong-lito. Bakit hanggang ngayon wala pa tayong nararating? Bakit? Hindi kaya... Hindi tama yung mga sinusunod natin at sinusundan natin. Yung mga programa nila, hindi natin malaman kung ano-ano. Yung mga pangako nila, hindi, wala silang lakas na tuparin. Yung bang mga nangangako sa atin, katulad ni Kristo, makapagsasabing, Cross my heart, I will die for you. Walang iwanan, walang ayawan. Meron ba nagsabi sa inyo at tinupad? Pero ang ating Panginoon, ayan, maliwanag man na maliwanag. Ang programa niya, kitang-kita natin. Ating inaalala tuwing magmimisa, si Kristo'y namatay, si Kristo'y nabuhay, si Kristo'y babalik sa wakas ng panahon. Ngayon, kung susundan ko si Kristo, yung pananampalatayang yan, mangyayari din sa akin, sapagkat sinundan ko siya. Kaya pwede ko rin kantahin. Ako ay namatay, ako ay nabuhay, ako ay babalik sa wakas ng panahon. At kung lahat tayo, sa lahat ng ating gagawin, iniisip natin, ito ba ang kalooban ni Kristo? 
Di sama-sama tayo. Walang maiiwan. Sabay-sabay, naglalakbay, iisa patutunguhan. Pare-pareho nating mga kanta. Kami ay namatay, kami ay nabuhay, kami ay babalik sa wakas ng panahon. O sino, may mga namumuno na pinipili ninyo na makapagsasabi ng ganyan, nasusod din nyo. Hanggang saan ang pwede nilang marating? Ako ay namatay. Hanggang doon lang. Namatay. Lahat naman yan, mamamatay. Namatay. Namatay. O, oh, eh de ano, sundan ninyo, saan kayo pupulutin? De ganun din, para kayong silang plaka. Ako ay namatay. 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 Hindi na uli mabubuhay. Isa lang ang merong konkretong plataforma na nangako sa atin na tinupad. Yung iba, tanungin nyo muna, kayo ba ang sinusundan nyo si Kristo? Kung ang sinusundan nyo si Kristo, susunod ako sa inyo. Bakit? Sapagat iisa lamang ang ating pupuntahan. Mamatay man tayo, mabubuhay na maguli at magbabalik sa wakas ng panahon. We all stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for as man and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, our covenant with you in Christ is the cause of our hope. Now we humbly approach your throne, O God, as we lift our supplications to you, we pray. Sustaining God, hear us. Sustaining God, hear us. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, religious men and women, through their faithful witnessing, may they carry out with zeal the mission of mercy of Christ, we pray. Sustaining God, hear us. For those who exercise civil authority in our country, may they take part to the call of the gospel, to protect the sanctity of a life and promote love, peace, and justice for all, we pray. Sustaining God, hear us. For the end of the pandemic, may all of us who are experiencing in any way of the suffering caused by the pandemic be given the grace of healing and strength to endure the struggles towards consolation and greater peace, we pray. Sustaining God, hear us. For those who want to repent from their sinful ways, may they approach the grace of mercy and healing through the sacrament of consolation. We pray. Sustaining God, hear us. For the Catholic humans, may they be firm in their resolve to renounce sin, 
so as to be reborn at the font of life and salvation, we pray. Sustaining God, hear us. May our belief in the resurrection of the body sustain us as we pray and mourn for the death of those whom we love, we pray. Sustaining God, hear us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Standing God, hear us. Father, whose mercy endures forever, listen to the prayers of your faithful people, and by the word of truth and the spirit of grace, prepare us to be cleansed. By the Easter mysteries, we ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it 
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. But this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidel is our auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the master of the order of preachers and all the clergy. <coughs> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus loves us, and in his love for us, he taught us to call his own Father, our Father, so we have the courage to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From this honesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, craft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. 
shepherd of souls and savior of the nations. Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 o'clock a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 o'clock p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one of the several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the Electronic Souvenir Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Kami po itaw sa puso nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nakiisa sa amin sa pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia na huwag pagpatuloy niyo po ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag makakaasa kayo na pagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo at para sa inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever, and give them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he saw now in his own body to the amazement of his apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> Please now join us. <coughs> as we offer prayer for the blessing of the sick. And then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.